So this car confuses me no end. It's a BMW, German, but it's Japanese. What? Oh! It just makes no sense. I would have thought they would have just made the car in Germany. They did. But leave it a German spec? So why, why have different specs for different countries? Okay, right, let me tell you the story about my Japanese. So this is John's Z3M bread van. Yep. And uh, it's Japanese imports. It came into the UK just last year. And uh, the thing that confuses a lot of people is this. Not this specifically. It's but the cool side for the, the Japanese people to sit. Basically, is a left-hand drive car, and as we all know, when we import cars from Japan, usually they're right-hand drive because they drive yeah, it's very just weird. like us on the right. But import on the in left Japan of the road, but the right left-hand drive. So yeah, in, in yeah. Japan, they homologate cars to their country of origin. So pretty much all classic Ferraris, Lamborghinis, BMWs are all left-hand drive because that's how they like to do it. So, three point two, three point two straight six, S. 50? 50. 50. 50. Uh, so BMW M3 Evo from the E36, that is basically what the engine plant is. Um, it's a bit of a mysterious car because whoever has built it in Japan has done it basically as a track day enthusiast, so like me, which is enthusiast. 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 Um, and as you quite rightly said at the beginning of the video, why is it so Japanese? Well, yeah. I'm guessing that whoever built it, and I don't know who built it, um, wanted to be different, and that's exactly what they've managed to do. So, so we got. Should we work our way from the front to the back? Shall we? Can you, can you pop the hood? I can. It doesn't have a bonnet stay, so if you get me a race car broom or something. My hand. Well, it's. Don't hold it there. It's a glass fiber. Or there, like in the middle. What, why have you got a fiberglass? What a silly car. Why wouldn't you have a fiberglass bonnet? Just stay there. So basically, right, so let's start. From, so starting from the front, we'll start with the bonnet. It is glass fibre. Bear in mind, on a Z3, this is an enormous amount of steel and therefore probably heavier than a small country. Oh, so is this factory fibreglass? No. So he's done this himself? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm learning. It's actually quite a posh one, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got, got all the, the proper skinning and the webbing and stuff. And um, even uh, the sound oh. deadening. Even the sound deadening, which Ooh. seems like a pointless, pointless exercise. Brutality. But there we are. So here we are. Here's the 3.2 S50 lump, which for some reason feels warm. I'm guessing somebody started it up. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Um, Six individual throttle bodies. Thank yes. you, BMW. As far as I'm aware, engine internals are stock. Um, and as we all know, Ben Broke Smith, Bonbon, bon, loves a cable throttle. He does. He does. In fact, Ben Broke Smith fixed my cable throttle for me. Didn't even realise it wasn't opening on 100% throttle. Oh, really? Oh, so you've got more beans now? Got more beans for free. More free beans. 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 Call overs? Um, uh, yep, we're running KW competition coilovers, which are extremely expensive. And again, just shows that whoever built it in Japan really did want to no have a KW top mount. No camber adjustable top mounts, though? Uh, no, no, because they're just race car, race car ready perfect. Oh, so the setup. <laughs> race car ready the perfect. Race car ready perfect. Um, so, other confusing things about the car, um, controversial things that I particularly don't like, but and this sort of gets a bit of a uh, Marmite response from the internet and from the angel car eyes. It has got angel uh, eyes. Uh, it's sad a face. Lot. You pull it out once. So oh god, they're wrong, right? Let me get this. Let me make it. Let clear. Just, let's this make is this my car, and I and I <laughs> now, exactly. It's not what I would choose. However, in Japan, especially for track day cars, it's a very common thing because, of course, we make mistakes on track and we crash them, and the, the glass headlights. Break, I just want to point them. out to the entire internet that you never, ever, ever change the headlights on cars. It's a bold thing to say because a lot of people will change headlights. They're For wrong. our taste, we don't. I had a Vauxhall Astra once upon a time. You never change the fundamentals of your headlights. And on I car. put um, Angel Eyes on my Vauxhall Astra. That doesn't surprise me at all. I was the youth. This once. is the man that just a week ago you were looking at eBay going, Priuses have got cheap. I could run a Prius with work oh, wheels. I'd love a Prius. Oh. Like, and that's not, we're not being funny for the video. That's I would genuinely love a Prius. what Rich thinks. I do, I would, I think a Prius, low, big wheels, camber, sensible daily commuter. Yeah. Unless I, sensible daily commuter. Unless I find a speed bump. Oh, okay. So Sick. the other, other things to point out about the car. These aren't um, factory, are they? 
these aren't factory. I uh, don't really know that they don't really They're go like anywhere other than into the fan. Are those are they, you, GTRs, maybe? Yeah. They, they yeah. look like R32 GTR. Um, mm. There's lots of brilliant Japanese writing all over it, which it, I think What does it mean? Uh, it says, do not Very give fast. to Rich Starkey, smiley face. What? Huh. Um, it, the other thing you'll notice um, <laughs> is that Strap certain race. areas of the car, like here, 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 and here, is a sticker that says BMW Estoril Blau Metallic, which means that it's the wrong colour. This is an Estoril Blue car, which was painted in Japan. To be fair, wise decision. Not Estoril Blue is. No, Estoril oh, Blue is one of the best colours in the world. Get up, so, If you can't say anything, you break S15s. So that's the front of the car. <laughs> um, again, more Japanese quirks. We've got the Volk T37 Razor Engineering wheels. Extremely light. The lightest wheels I've ever, ever picked up. I think without tyres are six kilos, yeah, like which is ridiculous. You know, you do that thing where you expect to, you pick something up, expect it to be a certain weight, and you throw it in the ceiling. So these are BMW stub pattern on the front, aren't they? Yeah. So, so this is this is one of the things why the car is on the ramp. We, no, no, I'm just enticing people. So this has got BMW on the front and on the rear. Fitment. He means BMW. BMW Fitment. PCD. But on the rear, it's Nissan. Nissan with a conversion spacer. So that is one of the jobs. I'm that guessing has the been reason done. for that though is because in Japan there probably are in a lot of people that will be putting raised engineering wheels onto German cars. So it's easy no, but you said two then four. No, but yeah, that's what I mean. So why would someone by the front? Because they've crashed it. Or Unless something. these are with them being raised, with them being one piece, they only make them in certain widths and offsets. So maybe whoever owned this couldn't get the right size and offset maybe. for the rear. So this was the solution to go for. But. I will say I had a set of these on my M3, and they were quite keen on offset, but they did fit. Mm. Let's move on inside the car. So inside the car. Oh my God! The steering wheel's still on the wrong <laughs> side. It's mind bending, isn't it? They're okay. Um, so now this is so a really cool interior. This is unique to the Z3, and it's got like cool little funky dials, which you may yeah. remember from GoldenEye. And uh, brilliantly. Again, um, Mr. Japanese man, Arigato Marimas, for changing the ridiculous, pointless clock and replacing it with something that actually works. So we've got a voltmeter. The only thing I don't have on here is oil temperature, which is so one thing I always have. All your which is. normally on M cars you have, yeah. but interestingly on the Z3 M Coupe, they, they didn't, didn't, didn't do that. They didn't bother. They, put, so they put an analog clock so you could tell the time at any time, but no oil temperature. Is the lap, 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 lap timer? The lap timer was, that came with the car, I okay. haven't yet figured out how to make it work. It turns on, I don't know how to make it start, stop, or reset. Or it's, Is it in Japanese? Uh, no, it's just a digital thing, like and numbers. We use and the then, numbers. a rather beautiful personal wheel. This purchase from <gasps> Driftworks.com. So yeah, the, so a major thing to point out with the car, uh, well, the two things are firstly these seats. Um, I'm guessing that Mr. Japanese man Maybe who built it the other side of you and was speak. extremely small, uh, a lot smaller than I am because these, these seats are XS, very small. Um, <laughs> Let me get in. The, as demonstrated by not XS, Rich Starkey. <laughs> Although, you are not no longer XL Richard Starkey. <laughs> He's just L. You're just L. So it's, it's tight, oh. isn't it? It's snug. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, Your shoulders don't go in, these in with seats. Drift works. I mean, if, if I was a T-Rex, fine. Well, you don't... You, your arms would be out driving, wouldn't they? But, you also but I'm on the passenger. Well, I don't know, it's not horrendous. Maybe I've lost all this weight and it's fine. The only problem... The, they are just a little bit too uncomfortable in the sense that on a long drive to a track day you do yeah, feel a bit yeah. like you want to die. You need like to get a good, set of, a good set of Cobras in there. Good set of Driftworks branded Cobras. Exactly. Is that what gets up with the planners? Yes. What do you have for uh, Because I but did a stereo delete not so long ago and needed to just chop them Delete? <laughs> That's in the <laughs> Chop them up. Yeah. Um, the other thing as well is the car, when I bought it, had a roll cage. Um, as you can see at the moment, it doesn't have a roll cage. And the simple reason for that is because the roll cage was very much developed for tiny Mr. Japanese man, which meant the seat, the oh, driver's seat, was, it a door, was door forward. Bars? No, it was, um, there were no door bars, but they were anchored down here. Oh, okay. So it meant that the, the bar that came down behind the seat pushed the seat forward, which if you were five foot four, not a problem at all. But when you're six foot one, it was very tight. Yep, Al spotted the other exciting thing. It's pretty cool. So PVC rear windows, um, the two oh, side windows oh, oh. and the rear window. 
Um, wiper delete. Again, Just not no really. hole. <laughs> no hole. It's there. I mean, they, you can kind of see evidence of it being once being there, but it's now gone. Um, and the other thing with this being Japanese is there's no. It's a different number plate holder to what you get in Europe. So there's no on the UK yes. one. It's got a number plate lock it's, here. Uh, it's unique solely to Japan. This boot lid. So the UK one has the lip that goes over with the light down. The American one has a short lip that goes down for the American size plate. Like Europe. And where's the German? And in, German I know, one in is, some, and then in the yeah. non M car, don't they have it down here? The, it's the long yeah, number plate down there and the, the boot non -M is flat. Car. And this is not normal yeah, either, that's, is it? That's not normal. Um, it is to Japanese, to Japanese spec cars, but that's, again, it's just it Japanese seems cars. It the, the, um, this, to make it this bad boy here. Yeah, don't know anything about it. Don't know what it is, where it's from, Internet, or what it does. Do your thing. We I like are, is that all wired up, that all works? What's that, the light? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. No, that's, that's, oh, is that, that's normal. That's normal. That's normal. That's oh, it's so it's everything from yeah. here over. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it has any fundamental impact on handling or if it's an air brake, but I think it looks cool, so I'm going to leave it there. It sounds good. Have we got the key? Key's in the ignition, yeah. Shall I, do you want to go start it over? It's, uh, it's, start it's over. a really good noise. Start it over. Turn it over. You can't even start it over. I'm not. <laughs> engineered to be quite clever this we'll jack it up in a second we'll see there is a stamp on the bottom i can't remember what it is but it's engineered so you can ultimately drive it on a track day still be legal but when you want to be a hooligan it's noisy it opens uh, so up it's really nicely well i yeah. don't know this is the thing it's got a i think it's 97 decibels at track days which is okay passable Get her up. So, da 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 cha, competition, KWs. So you're right, they don't have um, adjustable camera at the front, which is probably one thing I would change, but it seems to work very well. Kind of as it is. Top Maybe, yeah, why not? Depends on how much adjustment you want. So, Jasma. the answer is Jasma. Jasma. Oh, Jasmine. So, yeah, uh, there you go. So, Jasmine. Oh, well known brand. High quality parts. High quality. Sport cats. Has cats. <laughs> they are. Tray. Did you do Petit. all the heat wrap or was this all No, done? no, that was. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, I basically got to there and just got bored. No, I'm guessing that was put on in probably the early 2000s and then has been. <laughs> Left to rot. Since. Yeah. They're not stuck, are they? No. Yeah. I actually got upgraded lollipop bushes. So. Lollipop, lollipop. Eccentric ones. Eccentric, uh, mm. as in a bit wild. For kiss, for caster adjustment. Kissing adjustment. Kissing adjustment. <laughs> adjustment. I guess because you haven't got caster adjustment on the top mounts is probably how they've done it. Then. It's a common thing. I think these probably come with the M Sport bush as a standard, but these are obviously, you can probably see this quite solid. No, is that um, a poly though? Was it no, an actual solid bush a, with a spherical? It's got a spherical in it. Yeah, though. it's got a spherical. Cool. Bearing. Yeah, on normal BMWs, E36s, this is the common bush that goes. So um, we sell a Powerflex upgraded item on the website. So if you do want to upgrade this, then yeah, we've, we've got In two flavours, yellow and black. And we Pardon? also sell the eccentric ones. Purple. So you get more yellow and... Than. Is it purple? Yellow and black. Isn't it called black series though? Black series is black and the normal series is purple. That's crazy. Oh, are they not yellow? No. Nah. Yellow hmm. is another brand. Yellow is another brand. That we don't sell. That we do not talk about. No, it's not strictly true. The um, BMW <laughs> subframe inserts. Yeah, that's the are ones I yellow. had. Right. The subframe inserts. Okay, that's the one I had, and they were good. So, bully yeah, for we sell it. standard bully and <coughs> eccentric. So if you want more caster, get the eccentric ones. Yes. Unless you've got um, Hector's D monopros that have the camera top map, camera and caster top yeah. maps on them. Well, that's just grand. Isn't it? Well. So why, what are we doing, John? Why is it right, on, a, so on a wamp? That is a very good question. Why is it? Do you want to bring it back down and I'll, I'll tell the story? Yes. <laughs> um, so my predicament, and as to why it's on the ramps at the moment, is I have expired my brakes uh, on my last track day at Castle Coombe. Uh, so I thought I would treat it to all new pads and all new discs. Uh, however, I've come up with a conundrum 
here are some wheels we loosened earlier. Don't worry, they're not just finger tight for, for the fun. That'll do. That'll do. Um, and I'll show you, we'll speed this up so it'll look like I'm speaking rapidly. <laughs> Your word. And we're still here. We're weird. We're the weird one. <laughs> Mr. I love Priuses. Yes. Yeah. So with the, with the dilemma that comes with changing brakes, uh, and as we mentioned before, we have a bizarre Nissan fitment on the back, which means we have a PCD adapter here that's been fitted, which is unbranded, something Japanese, not necessarily very good. Very crude. And unfortunately, in the past, I've tried to remove it because I didn't like it and came across this stumbling block of basically, yeah, uh, metal, some sort of metal alloy chocolate composite, uh, which is destroying. So Ross has very kindly given me this brilliantly slightly oversized snap on 10 mil. So we're gonna try and smash that in and get them off, but we'll be replacing them with- Some super former- God, they're so light. Spaces. They are. So this is- a Oh my goodness, so this, light. This is a super former um, custom hub centric spacer. Um, BMW on one side, but it's deep enough, deep enough recesses to use standard bolts, so none of this malarkey. And then it's got studs on the outside, so we can now run wheel nuts as opposed to the bolts that are on, the, on it currently. Yep. However, it does mean your front is different. It's got some wheel bolts. Come on, John. What, what's what different about your front? front? What? And what we're doing to the front? Oh, yeah, we're going to do <laughs> <laughs> It's like, <laughs> the other reason, yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> so the other reason that the, uh, the car is on the ramps and, and because of the new studs that are gonna be here, we decided to do a stud conversion on the front, which is a, a quite a sensible thing to do really, especially when you're chopping wheels on and off the track days. And actually and very easy as well. Very easy to do. We have Driftworks supplied um, studs. studs, which screw into the hubs. We'll show you those in a bit. Super old, so super strong. Mission number one basically is to get this off. Um, at the moment, we're going to hope that we can do it easily with this and not have to start welding on nuts and it's just horrible, horrible. Can you not things. just like angle grind a line though and just put a screwdriver on it or something? Kind of, I mean, kind of box the space up if you ever want to. The space is fucked it. anyway, isn't it? Yeah, yeah because that, that will be going the, these to nuts, the local. These are bespoke. These nuts. To the local space of heaven in the sky. Uh, to an E36 outside. All right. <laughs> well, so don't fucking want to run jack wheels, not bad. Uh, well, I was doing some buddy clubs. ladies and gentlemen, we are about to run out of batteries. So what we're going to oh do no. is we're going to sign off here. We're going to let some magic happen and we'll resume later today. B-R-B. Uh,